So we're going to try and solve these two quadratic congruences. x squared congruent with 21 mod 70 and x squared congruent with 22 mod 70. Now, how are we going to go about finding the, the answers to these two? Well, first of all, we can see modulus 70 is a com composite uh, modulus. So 70, we know, is 2 times 5 times 7. So now we, what we can do is split this question up into three forms, modulus each one of these factors of 70. So prime factors is what we're interested in. So x squared is congruent with 21 mod 2 x squared is congruent with 21 mod 5 and just coming over onto this question x squared is congruent with 21 mod 7 so we'll just keep that separate for now okay so modulus derivative we can change these values of these integers straight away so that will then give us x squared is congruent with 21 is the same as 1 mod 2. x squared is congruent with, well, mod 5, that is also 1. So x squared is congruent with 1 mod 5. And here, x squared, now modulus 7, 21 is 0. So it's congruent with 0, modulus 7. Okay. Now, as these here are all, we can take square root of all these, we can just go straight in and take the square root. So x equals, well, if we take the square root of 1, our answer is plus or minus 1. So modulus 2, minus 1 modulus 2 gives us 1. So here we can just say x equals 1 plus... Now there's infinite solutions to this. We could say one plus two k, where k is an integer. So three would also be a solution. So let's write that in there. So modulus, sorry, one plus two k. Okay, so if we, for example, if we tried three, three squared is nine. Nine is congruent with one mod two. So we know that that works in this example here for when k is 1. Now same thing here, except that's going to yield a little bit different. So x equals plus or minus 1. Modulus 5, 1 is OK, minus 1 becomes 4. So x equals 1. In this case, infinite solutions will be multiplied by 5k. And also minus 1 mod 5 also gives us 4. So we've got 4 plus 5k. Now this solution here will just yield 0. So here x equals 0 plus 7k. That's our only solution. OK, but we know how to solve these because we've got the Chinese remainder theorem which we can do. So for the Chinese remainder theorem, first of all, we need to work out the moduluses. So 2, 5 and 7 and work out how they work out compared to the multiplication of them all, which is 70. So our original M equals 70. So I'm going to call this equation A, this equation B and this one equation C. So our M sub A That will be 70 divided by this modulus, which is 35. Now, the next number we need is m sub b, 70 divided by 5, which is 14. And then for m sub c, 70 divided by 7, that equals 10. So now we need to find some multiplicative inverses for each of these modulus of the comparing one that we're comparing it to. So here we've got 35. So we need 35y sub a, I'm going to call that, is congruent with 1 modulus 
2. So we need to find the value for y sub a. Here we'll do the same for y sub b. This time though it's 14 we're going to multiply by. 14 y sub b is congruent with 1 modulus 5. And here we're going to use 10 as our coefficient. And then we'll call that y sub c. It's congruent with 1 modulus 7. Okay, what does Ya value have to be to let this congruence uh, stand? So 35 times 1 is 35, which is congruent to 1 mod 2. So here we can have Ya equals 1. This one, 14 times the number Yb is congruent with 1 mod 5. Well, 14 is not congruent to 1. 28 not congruent to 1, 42 is not congruent to 1, 56 which is 4 14s that would also would give us a congruence so 56 is congruent to 1 mod 5 so in this case y sub b equals 4 and now we're looking for modulus 7 something congruent to 1 mod 7 so a multiple of 10 so well, I know that 50 is congruent to 1 mod 7, because the difference is 49. So in this case, yc equals 5. OK, so now what we need to do is to put this into some, uh, multiply these numbers together with these numbers. And then what we can do is use the Chinese remainder sum to work out the answer. So what we do is here now, we go 35 times our multiplicative inverse, which is 1, and then we multiply it by one of our solutions, which is 1. So that will give us a 35. And then the next thing we're going to do, put that in a bracket, add that to 14 times our multiplicative inverse which is 4 and we're going to multiply that by our solutions but we've got a 1 and a 4 so we do this one twice so 14 times 4 times 4 so that's what we got there so I've just value calculate these ones out put them in this little bracket here 56 will be the solution for this one and for this one 56 times 4 is 224 and then for this one, well, whatever we do with this one, we're going to multiply by zero, but I'll write it out anyway. So we're going to have 10 times our multiplicative inverse and our solution to the congruence, which is zero. So this one will just yield a zero. OK, so now let's work out the solutions and the solution will be modulus 70. So we'll have 35 plus 56 and that will be modulus 70 there's no point adding the zero that's not going to get us anywhere it's not going to help so 56 plus 35 is 91 so this one equals 21 and now what about another one 35 plus the other solution 224 modulus 20 so 224 plus 35 is 259. So modulus 70, that's going to give us 49. Because 370 is a 210, which gives us 14 plus 35, which is 49. So therefore, what we can say is our value for x can be either 21 or 49. So I'm just going to write that out here. Uh, let's make a little bit of space. Right, we've, we've done this calculation already, so we can just take that off the board now. So 21 or 49 is our solutions. So let's just take them out. So how come we've got two solutions here? Well, the answers are modulus 70. 
So for these, they're mod 70. Well, 49 is also the same as minus 21. Now, if you do minus 21 squared, so taking this question here, x squared is congruent with 21 mod 70. We are also saying 49 squared is congruent with 21 mod 70. And we're also saying that minus 21 squared is congruent with 21 mod 70. And also, uh, we could also say the 21 here. So we're also saying that 21 squared is congruent with 21 mod 70. And don't forget, 21 is congruent with minus 49 mod 70. So what we're saying is here, minus 49 squared is congruent with 21 mod 70. Well, we know when we square a minus number, it's the same as squaring a positive number. So we know that these two, these two are pretty much the same calculation. So just working this out, minus 21 squared is 441, congruent with 21 mod 70. Well, 441 minus 21 is 420, 670 is 420. So this checks out. What about this one? Again, squaring a minus number is the same as squaring a positive number. So these two are also equivalent. Now, minus 49 squared is 2,401. So we're saying that is congruent to 21 mod 70. So just a little bit of calculation. 2,401 minus 21 gives 2,380. 2,380 mod 70. Well, 70 times 30 will give us 2,100. So that's another four. So 70 times 34 equals 2380. So x squared is going to be 22 mod 70. So as we did before, we split it up into three congruences. So x squared is congruent with 22 mod 2. x squared is congruent with 22 mod 5. And Last one is 7, x squared is congruent with 22 modulus 7. Okay, so what can x be equal to here? Well, x squared is congruent with 0 mod 2, that's the same as the 22. So therefore x equals 0 plus 2k. Okay, let's try this one. So x squared is congruent, well mod 5, the 22 will become 2, mod 5. And then can we get a solution to this modulus 5? So keep on adding multiples of 5, so 2, 7, 12, 17, 22, 27, 32, 37. There is no solution to this at all. So this one here, no solutions. And what about this one? x squared is congruent with 22 mod 7. Well, mod 7, this will come back down to 1. So x squared is congruent with 1 mod 7. So x equals plus or minus 1. So x equals 1. Or x equals 6 plus 7k. Okay, this one's out of the picture. No solutions. So therefore... We can't solve anything involving this one, but we're left with this one. So can we just go with these two and use the Chinese remainder theorem? Well, that will make a farce of the question that we're doing because we've split this up into mod two, mod five, mod seven. So if we're doing the Chinese remainder theorem, we work out all our different multiple of inverses, but would only be good for mod 14. So that would only yield as a solution for mod 14. We still need the mod 5 to give us the solution mod 70. So therefore, x squared congruent with 22 
has no solutions. So what we can say is furthermore, when we're looking at quadratic residues, for n equals 70, so for 70, we can say that 21 and 49 are quadratic residues of 70. So we've shown that here, that these are two of the quadratic residues. Notice how they add up to 70. We prove that by doing the minus 49 mod 70, which is 21. So we could also say that 22 is a quadratic non-residue of 70. So hence x squared is going to be over 22 mod 70 does not yield a solution for any value of x. Okay.